So Alex, this is where it all begins in the uh, in the powder department. What, what's happening? As you said, this is the first stage in the process and here at Horn Hard Shoffy, we are producing our carbide blanks as well as our own carbide powder. So what, what's behind? Behind us we can see um, a powder pressing machine. Um, here we produce many of our blanks, such as the mini system, 312s, um, inserts such as this actually. We have a, a blank from uh, pre-sintering and a blank from post-sintering. There's around a 20% uh, calculated reduction during this process. Yeah, that's incredible. And I've actually got the powder here in my hands and it's, it's, it's very dense, isn't it? It's very heavy. Yeah, certainly carbide is very heavy as a material. I mean, even this blank itself um, really is really is quite heavy when you, when you consider its size. And I'm guessing this is obviously state of the art. It's very important if the blank's incorrect, really you've got no hope of producing a good finished product. Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, as well as the production of blanks here at Horn Hard Stoffy, um, they control the quality and the metallurgy of the powder. Everything is highly regulated to ensure we can produce the best quality carbide blanks. So Alex, this is seriously impressive. What, what's taking place? Um, this is our in-house grinding facility where we produce a range of products from Groove Milling through to Super Mini. And how many machines are there? It's fast. I wouldn't like to say uh, exact numbers, but I mean, it seems to be around 100 machines at least in this section alone. And what types of products do you say? Obviously, the, is it a Super Mini plus the indexable system? Yeah, there are a variety of products. The machines are adaptable to different items. Um, but this is predominantly carbide grinding that's taking place here, Super Mini, Fruit of Groove Milling. And the thing that strikes me, you've got it's over 100 machines. There's not many people. It's very highly automated. No, that's correct, yeah. There's um, automated insert loading, which enables operators to run several machines at one time and really increases productivity. Yeah, I guess it's bringing the, in, in the cost price down, isn't it? If you haven't got to have an operator per machine, it's going to make those inserts cheaper. Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, with the processes that we run at Horn, we're able to increase productivity while still maintaining the same level of quality. In the production of cutting tools, one thing that can't be overlooked is the encoding. How important is that to Horn? Exceptionally. I mean, with the coatings now, I mean, it's a major part of the process. Um, and it's such a, a, an important issue to get right. Uh, that's why uh, Mr. Horn invested in his own coating uh, plant, because uh, they were subcontracting earlier and um, the coatings weren't uniform because they were being put into the um, uh, pressure vessels uh, with larger components which meant that the coating wasn't even. Uh, and now um, they've perfected the system uh, and they, we never really have a problem with coating. Um, and they are developing their own coatings at a rapid rate to, to, to cope with the new components and new materials. So Mike, we've produced the component, the parts, ultimately we've got to sell them, so what's this behind? It's brand new uh, logistics, it's been installed in the last couple of years and uh, to be honest it's uh, too quick. Uh, we've, we've placed orders in the UK, 15 minutes later try to uh, amend those orders and they tell us it's too late, it's already been picked and packed. So it's picked, packed and sent out and straight to the customer. So you can pretty much guarantee next day delivery? Yeah, oh, we, we, live, we live and stand by that. I mean, uh, it's what the customer expects. It has to be next day. <laughs>